Okay, so you see the working of the app. Here we see the height of the bird and the distance, the direction or the arrow. You see the silhouette of the flying bird. The bird is in thermal and if you turn around, well, the arrow will change of direction. You will see where the bird is heading to. Obviously the height and the distance where the bird is flying to. Okay, and now I will show you on the app. So, if you look at the app, you will see the position of the bird. I'm sorry, I will try to find a better angle. You see, the movement of the bird, the arrow, where he is, if you turn around, well, this arrow changes of direction. Eh? Sorry, you can't see if I turn around, obviously. The blue spot is the place where I am. And, well, you can follow the track of the bird straight on the app. I will now, you see, the arrow is moving as I'm turning around. This orange arrow is moving to show you the right direction. I will now uh, show you how to track the bird. So, uh, this is now how you search the bird in a car. You're tracking and you're following the track. You see the movement of the bird and so on. Uh, is at two and a half kilometers. Well, we are driving now. I've got the system uh, with a little magnet on the dashboard. So I got my receiver always inside, sorry. It's not easy to drive at the same time. And so if we turn the car, I will now turn, for, for example, to give you an example. Well, the arrow will change. You see the arrow is changing. If we're heading another direction. And uh, I will now show you how to use the app when we lose a signal. We will now jump over to the app. I'll take this away. Had that in the hand so hoog, buiten het, 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 het venster zo, het venster open doen, buiten dat een beter ontvangt. Oké, okay, now I put the tablet. Just a second. So you see the position, our position, the blue, and there is where the bird is flying. An interesting thing is uh, using the app is. Uh, Sorry, let me put it here. The go-to feature. Uh, how to track if you lose a signal. Now we still have signal. If we put the speaker. But there is a go-to function. We will go a bit farther away and, and to show you how to work with the go-to function. So we're driving and we still have a signal. Bird is still flying, 282.8 kilometers. And uh, now I will show you how it works when you lose a signal. Okay? So I have to go at a longer distance. Okay, and now, well, we lost the signal. There's no more beep. Uh, on the app. And neither on the receiver, because I unscrewed the antenna, we have a position on the receiver, a last position memory, that you can touch here. And you can see the last position, but I was driving farther away. You can reflash this position and the arrow and see in which direction is the bird. Obviously, I unscrewed the antenna, so we lost the signal. Yeah, and now I will show you an interesting feature in the app. It's this little car this will open directly the Google Maps so I will touch it he will say navigate to Bert you're leaving the app do you want to save the session no I don't want to save the session and he will open straight the Google app or the Google Maps application destination by 2003 and 
uh, he's telling me just how I should drive to the to the point where I had the last signal and you can obviously uh, put the navigation system in uh, Google Maps mode. So I will now follow follow the Google Maps track and drive back to the bird and in the meanwhile if I get a signal back I will show you in a minute meters, a I will right hear again the beep okay so here I'm following the Google Maps and uh, well it tells me it's 8 or 10 minutes driving and you can hear sometimes I've got a beep back you see here and this beep uh, well is the app that is telling me that I've got a signal once again from the bird so I go back to the app and I've got information of the pitch 200 meters the distance three kilometers and so if I want I can re-navigate to the place to have a new position and you see the blue dot is moving towards the bird well this is all about real time this is real time through radio and uh, let me explain in a minute what else we have with the microsensory okay so uh, now I put the volume down the Google Maps navigation system is still telling me which road I have to follow obviously you see the blue dot is getting closer to the bird there is another feature if you lose real time and the bird is really far away with the microsensory all you've seen have been working over radio radio signal in real time like the other GPS systems but the big advantage apart of the good battery life the big advantage apart of uh, a good battery life is that the microsensory also has a text message function this means that if you got the signal sorry if you got the signal uh, lost completely lost you can send him a text message and find back the bird through the telephone network and there the range is literally uh, completely unlimited so what I mean about the text message is that if you lose range with radio but well, you still can text the transmitter to know where it is I will show you that in the same post down with some screenshots how it works because obviously I cannot film it because I'm filming with my phone so I cannot text message at the same time so you still see the blue dot getting closer to the bird the bird still flying you see the movements of the bird he's heading now towards north and you will see him turning in a moment you see the silhouette of the bird is turning so you see exactly where the bird is flying to well, for the test, it is a bird there that is flying around there. Uh, but it's very interesting because you know where the bird can fly to. And another thing, obviously, well, if you zoom in, you can see on the road the track and the streets you have to follow. The blue dot is our position, and that is the position of the bird. I put the volume back because so we can hear it and still the arrow that you can follow the track of the animal be back with you in a second and still the advantage you can follow the track of the animal on the screen of the receiver you don't need the app but if you want you can use the app and the map that you have on it interesting feature is that the receiver is very small and you can uh, just have it in the pocket and uh, it's very light and easy to uh, work with so he's telling me now he's on the right so I'm going to drive to turn on the right and I'm going to head towards the bird you will see the arrow will change in a second you see now the arrow is changing as I'm getting closer and the distance is getting less and also on the app you see the blue dot is getting closer to the bird and the distance is getting less so it's very practical uh, also to know that this receiver 
combines also a radio receiver so it can work as a normal radio receiver i will just show it you in a moment i just have to push that button and now you have normal radio beep but the radio beep i will explain it next time go back to the satellite okay and it takes back the position i'm getting closer oh sorry not easy to film while driving you see the blue dot is getting closer to the bird I'm following just this road and the bird still flying and we're getting closer 600 700 660 meters just follow the arrow and you can see that the bird is still moving moving around and uh, where he's heading to so that's very interesting to know so we're getting back to the bird 400 meters and so on so i hope you liked the little demonstration if you have any question don't doubt to come back to me thank you bye bye